There are many animals that we wish did not go extinct like the white rhinos or the dodo, but I can assure you that there were some that we would be glad are. Remember that terms like dangerous and aggressive are often anthropocentric, reflecting how these animals interacted with humans or how they might have been perceived in the context of prehistoric ecosystems and not necessarily indicative of their overall ecological importance. It's essential to approach these discussions with a balanced perspective and an understanding of the role each species played in their respective environments. With all that being said, here is the list of creatures that we are glad are extinct. Purosaurus. Purosaurus was a giant prehistoric crocodile that lived in South America during the Miocene epoch. With a length of up to 40 feet, it was one of the largest crocodile-like creatures ever known. Its powerful jaws and sharp teeth made it a top predator in the region's waterways. Titanoboa. Titanoboa was a massive prehistoric snake that lived in the Paleocene epoch. It is considered the largest snake ever discovered, with lengths reaching up to 40 feet or more. Its enormous size and strength allowed it to capture and constrict large prey, making it a dangerous predator of its time. Andrusarchus Andrusarchus was a large carnivorous mammal that lived during the Eocene epoch. It had a wolf-like appearance but was much larger, with some estimates suggesting it could reach lengths of up to 16 feet. With its sharp teeth and strong jaws, Andrusarchus was likely an apex predator in its ecosystem. Gigantopithecus Gigantopithecus was a large ape that lived in parts of Asia millions of years ago. Although its diet remains uncertain, its size, estimated to be around 10 feet or 3 meters tall and over 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms, could have made it a potential danger in its environment. Dunkleosteus Dunkleosteus was a prehistoric fish that lived during the Devonian period. It had a heavily armored body and a large, powerful jaw equipped with sharp bony plates that acted as teeth. This armored fish was a top predator of its time, capable of delivering powerful bites. Helicoprian Helicoprian was another prehistoric shark that lived during the Permian period. It had a bizarre tooth whirl arrangement, where the teeth formed a spiral-like structure within its lower jaw. This arrangement was likely used to slice through prey like a circular saw. Arthropleura Arthropleura was a giant millipede-like arthropod that lived during the Carboniferous period. Some species could grow over six feet long. While they were herbivorous and not dangerous to humans, their enormous size and appearance could evoke fear. Dimetrodon, Dimetrodon was a carnivorous synapsid that lived during the Permian period. It had a distinctive sail-like structure on its back, formed by elongated neural spines. While it is often mistaken for a dinosaur, Dimetrodon was an early relative of mammals. Its sail might have been used for thermoregulation or display. Megalodon, Megalodon was an ancient shark that lived around 2.6 million to 23 million years ago. It is one of the largest predators to have ever existed, with estimates suggesting lengths of up to 60 feet or 18 meters. With its massive jaws and enormous teeth, Megalodon was likely a formidable apex predator in prehistoric oceans. Giant short-faced bear This massive bear species lived in North America during the Pleistocene epoch. It was one of the largest terrestrial carnivores, with estimates of its weight ranging up to 3,500 pounds or 1,600 kilograms despite its size. It was believed to be an omnivore that could hunt large game or scavenge. Saber-toothed cats Saber-toothed cats, such as Smilodon, were large predators characterized by their long, curved canine teeth. These teeth could grow up to 11 inches or 28 centimeters in length. While they went extinct around 10,000 years ago, these cats were highly effective predators, likely preying on large herbivores like mammoths and bison. For more such exciting content, please consider subscribing to our channel and kindly suggest to us more topics that you would like to know about in the comments. Thank you.